Hey, here we go again talking about some unfinished bullshit. So earlier today, I saw a funny little video made by Critical, and if you haven't watched it, then I would totally suggest you do. It's a compilation he made of a live stream he did back when he was playing the newest Battle Royale crazy game made by the hack frauds over at Key... What? I, I mean, blah, fuck. Boss Key Productions. Creators of... And now they're back with their latest installment called Which is this god awful cynical mess that pretty much highlights everything wrong with the state of video games today. Remember back when I criticized people's abuse of the word unfinished on Sea of Thieves because that was a vague description slash critique of a game that could either mean the game had a few missing things or it was just flat out broken and shitty? Well tell me something. Does this game in any way resemble how unfinished Sea of Thieves is? It's a garbled mess of code strung together by duct tape. It's kind of fascinating to know that it even exists. It's like a Frankenstein's monster of untalent and cynicism. That aside, this game is pretty much the exact reason why early access needs to die out. It's a commentary on how we, the consumers, are so accepting of shite that even companies are thinking the same thing. If they accepted garbage before, why won't don't they accept it now, is what they think. I swear, it all started with Goat Simulator, a knowing parody of broken gameplay and shitty graphics that sold like wildfire because it was just that, a self-aware broken game. Ever since then, the effort put into 3D indie games has really severely dropped in quality because, again, if we accepted garbage before and did stupid little YouTube videos on them, then what'll stop us from doing the same shit over and over and over again? I think this has gone on for way, way too long, uh, to the point where games don't even need to try to be presentable anymore, and instead have to go with uh, minimal effort on launch. I mean, take this game, for example. Lawbreakers was a terrible loss for Boss Key, so jumping off of this old craze of hero arena shooters or whatever the fuck, and diving dick first into Battle Royale, they probably expected well it's a battle royale game it'll sell like hotcakes within the first week why put more effort than needed let's just slap in that early access title to boot and people will automatically forgive us because hey you can't blame the game for being bad it's not finished it's just not we told you it wasn't why are you mad we warned you guys it says right there early early access my fucking mouth is early access, I can't speak. It doesn't help that the games Radical Heights took inspiration from were also in early access, and fucking what, Fortnite is still in early access, technically, apparently. Fuck, I mean, if PUBG and Fortnite could get popular off of being early access, then why can't Radical Heights or any other fucking game? The fact that we made it that way is kind of shit, honestly. It's like some sort of poetic, I don't know, irony or some shit some i don't know ask your local english major and maybe they'll know what the fuck this is but this is very concerning thing is even if your game is unfinished it still needs to be good in order for it to survive the long run i just don't understand their train of thought here i mean shit don't you want the game to be at least presentable like attractive to the eyes i mean i know you gotta make money fast before you go bankrupt but this shit is only making the company sink faster than before make a fucking small indie game if you need to just try to make a dime before you spend the dollar into something that's just gonna waste manpower and resources and money the issue still stands though the, the consumer has become so familiar with this practice that it's become nearly endearing to see a game like radical heights even make the market when it in reality it's an egregious piece of shit not worth mentioning it's just another rusty cog in the wheel of game development that'll hopefully be the final straw for most people but probably not because battle royale games are mostly played by little kids so fuck it